All right, so we got Modern Warfare 3, all weapons, perks, kill streaks, and more. Let's go to the Ladies video. and gentlemen, this is by the Ink Slasher. Modern Warfare 3 video of the day. The first one we had going over the gameplay, the new movement, the new nuke, everything like that. This hey, video Call of Duty, invite Ink Slasher to the, to the Call of Duty next this event, bro. This one is going bro. to focus on all I'm of the new details. We're going to start out with what all of the new weapons are. Keep in mind... Unless he wants to go, I don't know if he declined or whatever. But everything that's going to be in the final build, there's probably going to be more weapons, more perks, more kill streaks, things along those lines. I'm assuming that y'all, we got gameplay as well. Don't think we don't think we slip it. We got gameplay too. We're gonna start out with all of the weapons, then move into all of the perks. We got gameplay, tacticals, all of the lethal grenades, field upgrades, kill streaks, everything like that. Essentially, everything that goes into the create a class system will be in this video, so you'll kind of know what you're getting hands-on with in the beta and how all of that is going to work perk wise gameplay wise weapon wise and everything in between There's nice a lot let's to go talk about here though so without further ado let's start out by diving into the weapon all right so here are all of the weapons uh oh, First one, uh -oh. The sva 545 this is an interesting weapon because it fires the first two rounds at nearly the exact same time dealing a whole bunch of damage up front. okay then we have the mtz 556 having okay. a very fast fire rate and saying to be good at close and mid range, and then the MCW, which is a lightweight 556 five, weapon with this a very looks like the art, the ACR, bro. Into the battle rifles, where we have the MTZ 762, which is a hard hitting battle rifle, Bass B, by the BASB. Then we have the Rival 9, which is an SMG. The Striker, the let's go. They bring about the Striker, and of course. The Striker, which everyone nice, loves let's go. P45. Then we have our shotguns. The first one is the Riveter. This one is interesting because it's Ooh. on an assault rifle platform. And the other one, you're going to recognize it. It's the Lockwood 680. Very yeah, similar obviously. to the Lockwoods that we have already seen within the Modern Warfare Ooh. games. Moving over the LMGs, we have the Holger 26 and the Peli Mayotte. 762. I'm not exactly sure if I'm saying that right. So we have the marksman rifles, which include the MTZ interceptor as well as the MCW 6.8. Finally, okay. moving into the sniper rifles, we have two. Again, there'll probably be more out of the beta. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, this, there's the going to be way more, the guys. Inhibitor. Don't worry. So when we have a look at how the gunsmith is going to play into these weapons, you're actually able to filter by weapon stats. So you can see mobility, recoil control, things along those lines, which really narrows down what you're actually looking for. The attachments. Oh, huh. And on top of that, They've also made it easier to see when you unlock various different attachments. Yeah. Have this mapped out level after level, which you actually unlock, which looks way better than Modern Warfare 2. Nice. We also have the progression tree. So this is the progression specifically for the beta. The beta is going to go up to level 30, and you can see as you go through, you unlock various different pieces of gear, equipment, weapons, kill streaks, just like normal Call of Duty. Keep in mind, only goes up to level 30, so this is not everything that we are going to get, but it should be everything that we can get within. Nice. The beta. Okay. So then we have our handguns. First off, we have the WSP Stinger. This one is oh, this essentially look... a fully automatic handgun. That look. Hey, that look oh, fast. A bit weird there. Then we have the Renetti. I think that look fast. This one is. We also saw what the weapon conversion kit is on that with one of the previous trailers earlier on. Can be made into Wasn't this gun in uh, the original well, Warzone or Warzone 2? Level. Then we have the 45 ACP, which is called the Core 45. Pretty straightforward on this one as well. And then as far as launchers go, we only Pella, have one yeah, launcher the right now, the is, of course, the Pila. The Pila, yeah, I know that the gun. The rest of the created class, the tacticals, the lethals, field upgrades, and of course, those brand new perks. Do they have tuning in here or no? Grenades. The first one that we have is a flash grenade. This flash grenade. very straightforward yeah. in like every Call of Duty game. Yeah. Battle Rage is, once again, Battle Rage, the exact same thing that we had in Modern Warfare 2. EMP grenade is a little bit new. This one, you throw it and it disables enemies' electronics, things like that, their HUD. Smoke grenade okay, yeah. is a smoke grenade, and the last one and the most surprising one is a scatter mine. This now, is the, was this, this the one, one in the, was uh... actually a kill streak kind of within Modern Warfare 2. This one you throw down a set of mines across the floor, and when an enemy runs over them, it's, yeah, it, it spreads and it kills people, yeah. which is weird because you'd think that would be a lethal grenade, not a tactical. Moving on to our lethal grenades, we have a frag grenade, so this okay, is the one that you the cook, breach the drone. To. Then we have a breacher drone. This is new. You did see it within the trailer. You this one you throw up in the air and it goes towards your enemies and once it is within a certain radius it then explodes i'm not sure how that will go is, crazy on shipment bro that will go crazy on shipment bro this one sticks to walls and then the last okay, one the newest yeah. one the thermobaric grenade this works like a frag grenade however when it explodes it throws fire onto the ground and the longer enemies are in it the more damage it does to them kind oh, of a mix between huh. a frag grenade and a, a molotov, molotov yeah 
Moving on to our field upgrades. The first one we have is the muni box. This one Obviously. gives you more ammo and equipment as well as your teammates. The a second man one box. is interesting. It's called an ACS, an automated computer that slowly captures points and temporarily hacks nearby enemy devices. So it hacks nearby enemy devices and I believe it captures flags when you put it on there too. Mm, Very interesting. Interesting. Never anything like that one before. And we have a med box. This one gives your team and oh, like you stem? medical supplies. I'm not sure what those medical supplies are. So if you have like a stem, you could just... I, I don't know, but it gives your team that. It's kind of like an ammo box, but if you have like a stem in your thing, you get to just re-up re your stems. Radius. Enemies will not be able to activate kill streaks. Enemy UAV systems intel will not work. That's so cheese. Basically, a portable imagine you have a imagine you have a teammate so they activate comm scrambler so nobody can use a kill streaks and, finally, and all your teammates all use their kill streaks moving into Crazy. our perks so the way that these are going to work is they are separated into different pieces of equipment the first okay. one that we have is gloves there are four different types of these so First of all, for the gloves, we have the quick grip gloves. And as far as these go, they increase your weapon swap speed. Uh -huh. And we have our scavenger gloves. These work as the scavenger perk where you can pick up ammo off of dead bodies. Yeah. And then finally, we have the commando gloves. These are going to make it so that you can reload while sprinting. Mm, the second set of perks okay. are going to work as boots. The first one that we have are lightweight boots. They are going to increase your movement and swim speed reduces noise while swimming as well. Okay. Climbing boots are going to increase your speed while climbing and make it so you take less fall damage. Oh, Stalking wow. Tim and Tatman need that. Your strafe speed and aim down sights move speed as well. Mm, Normally, this is something attacked. Okay, so they speed. got new... And tactical pads, okay. this one's pretty powerful. It increases your slide distance, also allows you to full ADS while sliding. It also increases your stance transition speed and crouch. These are my boots. Speed. These so are my boots. These are my boots. And then the sneakers. Powerful. The covert sneakers completely eliminates your footstep audio, which people have been asking for for a very I need, long time. I need these. I need these Jordans. I need these Jordans right, right there. This is our third. I'm, I'm wearing those. Essentially. And the first one we have is EOD padding. This one reduces the amount of damage from non kill streak explosives and fire. Then we have tack mass. This one reduces the strength of enemy flash gas grenades and immunity to shock emp and snapshot grenades i'm wearing that in mind a lot of those that are listed were not in the beta build so indeed we are going to be getting more lethals and tacticals then we have mission control calm link this one essentially works as hardline it reduces the cost of kill streaks by one or reduces the uh, i don't need that streak by 125 i don't need then that we have bone conductor headset this one's crazy we've never seen this before this one reduces combat noise allowing identification of enemy footsteps and gunshots to be easier so basically explosions game noises things like that are quieter so you can hear enemies better it, we've never seen anything like that before then we have lr detector oh, i'm not exactly really? sure how this one works but it warns of hostile laser and radiation sources so not a hundred percent sure how that i'm not works. using that and we have ghost tv camo as far as this one works it's well moving it blocks detection by uavs enemy radar sources and heartbeat sensors again mm. another thing that was not included in the beta build uh, but so this far the bone conduction one seemed so like the best so then we have our fourth perk essentially which is the vests the first one that we have here is the infantry vest this one is going to increase the tax sprint duration and reduce its refresh time in other words you can move around faster then we have gunner mm. vest this one you deploy with max ammo and improved reload speed as well and we have the engineer vest this one you can spot enemy equipment field upgrades kill streaks through walls and tag okay so they got a lot well more in the upgrade recharge and then the last one in the upgrades one era in the area sorry your equipment every 25 seconds now you may notice that as we went through these vests, it shows different slots available. So this one has an extra gear and no lethal equipment. That is the engineer vest. So whatever vest you have will change the way that you can actually create your class, which is another interesting. Thing oh, this is this is finally the this last is an thing actual loadout. This is the kill streaks. So there are not a lot of them in the beta build. I'm kind of disappointed. We know there are. I more mean, than well, this that's we it's a beta, so I, I get what they're trying to do. Trailer. They're not trying to However, you know, what we do have show everything. Is, of course, the U. UAV. Then we have something called the Mosquito Drone. We have seen this as the Dart Drone before within Black Ops games. You throw oh, it, you just throw it, and it just tracks them. Yeah, very annoying to play against. Then we yeah. have the Sam Turret. Of course, this shoots down aerial streaks. The Guardian SC. We've actually seen this in Black Ops games before. You put it down, a, they you took a lot of stuff from Black Ops. Wave and it damages people down a certain laneway of the map. Then we have the Counter UAV. Super self-explanatory. Yeah. SAE. Once again, that is in yeah. Modern Warfare 2. Sentry Gun, or as they're calling it in this, Remote Turret. Again, yeah. you know what that is. And yeah. Then Juggernaut Recon, which is a Juggernaut 
not without a gun. He has a riot shield. That's I am assuming geez. there's a lot more streaks. That's than this. this is the most underwhelming part of everything that we've seen today. At least my, in my opinion, there's no chopper gunner here. There's no AC-130. It's none of I those think, fun streaks. These I, ones are just I, I, boring I, I, to me, if you ask me. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Yeah, but that I, is essentially I, everything for Create a Class. We looked at all the weapons. We looked at all the perks. We looked at all the kill streaks, the field upgrades, the menus, everything in between, gunsmith. And that is everything that you need to know. That's everything that you're going to be able to get your hands on within okay. the beta and pretty much everything that you know you can look forward to within the final game. Of you course, we are going to get more weapons, probably a little bit. First of all, shout, shout out to Ink Slasher for this video. He always coming through clutch with these videos. That's number one. Listen, I think what Call of Duty is doing, right? Obviously, they brought back a lot of things that people were wishing for. Uh, the First of all, they brought back uh, classic maps. I mean, it's Modern Warfare 3. They kind of have to, right? Um, they brought back the red dot. They brought back um, 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 Rebirth. They're bringing back a lot of... Oh, they brought back uh, slide canceling. They're bringing back a lot of things that people wanted in the game that was already in the game previously. But, you know, I think that Call of Duty wanted to kind of like experiment and they wanted to like try a new approach. And, and when they saw that it didn't work and nobody liked it, they're, they're now putting a lot of things that were that were in like in, in the good Call of Duties back into the game now. Um, and in my opinion, I think that's a, a, obviously that's a really good idea. You know, um, here's my thing. Right. And I think it, this could work. I think this could work. I don't know if you guys remember, but I made a video. Um, I, I'm in a Call of Duty video. And obviously, when I rant against Call of Duty, I don't bash anybody. I don't bash anybody. I don't get disrespectful. I just say, you know, what everybody, you know, wants in a game. I don't, you know, I'm not a negative person. I don't, oh my God, I, I want all the devs to line up and run me and run me my fate. When I say stuff like that, th those are jokes, whatever, <laughs> you know, and everybody knows that it's a joke, but I'm just saying just in general, if, any, if you're new here, you know, whenever I say, oh, run me my fate or I'm going to drop my belongings and we could just run our fate, that's me joking, you know, just, just joking. That's not serious. But um, honestly, man, I think this is a really, really, really good step so far. This is, so far, you know, as I'm looking at it right now, uh, when it comes to like the whole boots and stuff like that, I mean, obviously, you know, they want to add something new to the game, which is pretty cool. Um, some of these, um, like some of these perks, bro, look pretty cool. Like the whole med box thing, bro. Imagine like you have a stem and obviously I think that they're, I think that they're adding stem in the game. Obviously. I mean, the stem was a really good perk, but obviously like imagine like, you know, you have a stem, bro, and you have a med box in your back pocket. You just drop the med box. And now you got your stems back, you know, and, um, we got, um, these gloves and stuff like that but there was actually one these boots was is a is a good idea the whole climbing boots i mean i'll be real that's uh that's all right um let me just let me just show you some things that i like so far i love the bone uh the bone conduction and i think this was the one to where um everything in the game quiets down and you just hear players i love that that, that kind of reminds me of um of black ops there was a perk in black ops 2 where um you all you hear was his footsteps at first it didn't work then they had to patch it up but um there, there was literally a perk in, in black ops 2 to where um they literally all like it, you could literally hear footsteps you know and this is back then to where you know a lot of people weren't really worried about footsteps it was basically like hide and seek call of duty back then was hide and seek now you know, Call of Duty, like, you can hear somebody, you know, down the, I said down the street. I was about to say down the street. We can hear somebody, you know, down the hall, whatever, and you can, you can just hear them coming, so you can just sit there and just wait for them to come through and, you know, and, and you know, and clean them up or whatever, but other than that, I, I, I like some of the stuff that they already brought in. Um, obviously, there's some perks that are not really for me, but that doesn't mean that these perks are not important to other people because that's just, they'll just be stupid for me. You know, imagine me saying, oh, well, they don't need this. They don't need that. They only need this. That, that makes no sense. I, I'm just, like, I'm giving off my opinion. I'm not giving off a fact. A lot of people might find the tech mask really important for me. And, and, and if I'm being honest, I mean, it's all right. But some people might be like, oh, snap. Like, I really wanted that to come in the game. Da, 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 and they're really happy about it. So um, other than that, they, this right here, this, I'll be real, not really, really important to me, but again, somebody out there probably needs this. Somebody out there probably wanted a, a perk like this to come through. So uh, just give you guys that. Um, but yeah, man, I think that Call of Duty is taking the, so far as I'm looking at it, I think Call of Duty is taking the, uh, the simple approach to it now, which is all we're asking for. We're not asking this. It, honestly, man, Call of Duty, you could do this every single year. You can you can you can keep 
the core I just hit you guys ears sorry but you can keep the core Call of Duty game alone leave that alone the core Call of Duty game just leave that alone the stuff that 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 players need for the game leave it alone you can switch maps you can make new maps make a new warzone map da -da 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 -da, right that's fine but when it comes to like you know um when it comes to like stuff like affecting the game and like you know like oh man man whenever call of duty took out the whole red dot thing at first man i was just like i, I was just confused because i'm like okay huh like <laughs> like okay like because at first I, I really didn't care about it but then i'm like okay i need it now <laughs> And we humans tend to do that. We humans tend to not care about something until it affects us. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. We do that. We do us humans. We do that. I li listen. We all do that. But um, other than that, man, I think Call of Duty is is so far, so far. I think Call of Duty is is in the, is is right right now. I think that they're taking the right approach. I think they're taking a more simple approach. One thing that I do not want in the game is tuning. I listen. Listen. It is so irritating having to, and I'll be real, I get all my builds from YouTube. I'll, I'll keep, listen, listen, I get all my builds from YouTube, right? And it's so annoying having to, you know, get the precise, um, precise decimal whenever, whenever it comes to these builds and, and all this and all this when it comes to the tuning. Tuning isn't for me, right? Now, am I going around saying that, oh, if you, if you, if you use tuning on your gun, then you just don't play the game right? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, but I'm just saying tuning isn't for me. Do I still copy off, you know, the YouTubers and put the tuning on my gun and like copy every single decimal that they're doing? Of course I do. Why would I not? But like other than that, like I just don't, I don't like the tuning. So I don't even know. I don't even think he showed the tuning uh, in the game. Um, but when it came down to like some of these weapons, some of these weapons looks pretty cool. I said looks pretty cool. Uh, some of these weapons look pretty cool. Obviously, if you guys didn't know that this is the beta, so they're not going to show all the weapons. Um, but hopefully they bring in the MP7. Hopefully they bring in the classic um, P90. The actual P90. Not the P90 in Modern Warfare 2 2022. Not the, uh, what is it? The PDQDS uh, 3DS. What no, I'm talking about the original P90, bro, that looked like like the, it looks like the old school p90 basically i hope they bring that into the game because that gun absolutely spits fire obviously the mp7 is classic um and i hope they bring in the mp5 as well because you know the mp5 is very important to, to honestly it, listen if i'm being honest bro, i feel like the mp5 is the most iconic call of duty gun of all time in my opinion but that's just me other than that comment down below what do you guys like about uh call of duty Modern warfare 3 so far the game drops next month, and I would like to get you guys' opinion on it. Other than that, see you guys later for the next one. I'm out, and 